what's up guys, Nerdy Kid Dude of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Station. I'm here with a deck profile of my Gravekeepers. Uh, I have to say this is honestly one of my favorite decks that I've ever ran. Just, I like the playing style, I like how it goes. And because of Legendary Collection 3, I've been able to hollow the heck out of it. So, here we go. Uh, I, w I wish you guys could see the rarity. Uh, old three recruiters. I was about to say three ultra recruiters. So basically, when you step from the field to the graveyard, you search for a Gravekeeper. Basically anything but Spy. Uh, three Commandant. Discard him, search for Necro Valley. Three Spy, amazing. Basically, you flip him and you search for any Gravekeeper. So, I had to get these Gold Rare because I didn't want to get Ultras. Uh, three Descendant. He combos with Recruiter, so you destroy the Recruiter, search. It's so good. Uh, and two Assailant. I'm looking for one more Assailant. I only have one Ultra. Um, but if you guys have another Ultra Assailant from Legendary Collection, let me know and hook me up. But I'm looking for one more Ultra Assailant. So that's the monster lineup. It's pretty small, but that's Royal Tribute, Fodder, and stuff like that. Uh, I had a play set of Super Necro Valleys, but I had to get rid of them, or I wanted to use the Ultras because, for one thing, the Ultras have new text that's apparently easier to understand for all the idiots that play this game. <laughs> Not like that, but I mean, like, for people that don't know how to, like, actually read. Uh, a lot of people may not like this, but I play two Wonder Wand. I love the Wonder Wand. Um, you combo it with Recruiter, so you draw two and you search for Recruiter. It may not be your playstyle personally, but it actually works out really well. I've tried testing it without Wonder Wands on like Dueling Network and a few other places, and it actually does not run as smoothly as I like it to. So that's um, the Wonder Wands are actually really good. And then Royal Tributes. I'm so glad if you could see it. I'm so glad that they put these into Ultras because those are so good not to be rare high rarities. Uh, double MST just for back row hate. Double duality because you can only run two. This is the one they should have made a reprint of. Um, double Gravekeeper Stealth so you search for a grave, you're, you grab two Gravekeepers out of your grave. And then one Dark Hole. I wish this was Ultra, but I don't have one. Uh, it's the spell lineup. Pretty simple. Gravekeepers are pretty good into spells. Uh, overall comments on that part, it's not much to say actually. Basically, when it comes to a Gravekeeper deck, everything's a staple. Uh, for traps, because one of the reasons why I love Gravekeepers is that they counter everything and beat you up. So, three, or the Solemn Brigade. Uh, double D Prison. I love the new reprints. Uh, Secret Compulsed. Uh, I'm sorry for naming out the rarities. I just think some of these cards are really cool, and I think they deserve attention, just because they look so sweet. So, Double Compulse. Uh, double Starlight. Just because you run such heavy back row and your Necro Rally. Uh, I'm looking for super rares if you guys have them, if you could hook me up. Um, but a two Fiendish Chain. I'm trying to get Ultras from Legendary Collection, so hopefully I can get those. And then you finish it off with one Mirror Force, I want to make this an Ultra. Uh, so that's the main deck. <clears throat> Not much really to say. You all know what the cards do. Uh, on to Extra. Uh, one Leviathan. I actually ran into a situation where I had to exceed with my recruiters, and it helped so much. It actually won me game. Uh, Kachi Kochi Dragon. So it's a 21 beater already already by itself. You attack over your opponent's monster, detach from material, and you can attack again. It's once per turn. Uh, my Stroke. Popple Operative. Utopia. And just for the hell of it, I put in a Zenmeister. Uh, that's the Exceed. Uh, others, you run Element of Hero Shining, Tornado, Absolute Zero, and uh, Gaia. <clears throat> I do not have Escarado, but otherwise I would. Uh, if I had an Escarado, I would put this in. Uh, you'll see why, because I'm going to show my side deck. And then for Synchros, you just run the Double Stardust. For because um, I might, I'm, I'm thinking about maining or siding Malefic. Uh, triple Fossil Dina. I'm looking for two more First Eds. If you guys have them, but these are all secret and only one's First Ed. Two Fossil Dina. This card is so good. Um, so basically, neither player can special summon while it's face up on the field, and then its second ability is when it's flipped to face when it's flipped face up, destroy all special summon monsters. Uh, this card's new. I decided to start siding two guard because for one thing, it becomes a twenty four hundred defender. When you flip it, you return one monster, or you would return one monster your opponent controls to its hand. So it's basically a living compulse with for uh, under Necro Valley has fifteen hundred attack and uh, twenty four hundred defense. So it's actually really good. Uh, for heroes, you got Puppet Plant, slash, some Chaos Dragon, sort of. Or, no, sorry. Um, sorry, Warriors are Spellcasters, so I don't even know when you'd use, I guess, Mirror Match. <laughs> uh, double Electric Virus, Gear Guys, stuff like that. Double Super Poly, that's why all the extra, that's why all the, um, Elemental Hero stuff was in there. 
And then double summon limit. This card screws up this meta so much because everyone likes to spam. Uh, Torrential. Just double Torrential. So I got one Seeker from the Legendary Collection and one Hobby League. So that's pretty much the deck. Um, it actually runs really smoothly. And like I said, the Wonder Wand is kind of a tech choice. So it's kind of like it's a player's perspective. So that's pretty much the deck. If you guys have any ideas, go ahead and leave a comment below. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. And check out my main channel. Peace out, YouTube.